Oh, hi. This week, we're gonna do a project that will shock you to know involves using garbage. I'm sure I'm not the only person to think, hey, these yogurt cups are in like cute little glass containers. I should hoard them and uh, use them for another thing. You may also know that they come in four packs, but you may be asking yourself, hmm, I only see three in your hands. What happened? This happened. I stabbed myself with a piece of glass I broke and it fell because I am a hoarder and when people are throwing clothes or like scraps of shit away, I have, I have to take it and make it with stuff so it doesn't end up in a landfill and so I can like use it for things. I spent all of last weekend cleaning out my sewing room because I haven't been in here most of this year. It's just mountains of tote bags full of shit that's brand new that hasn't ever been here before and there's just so much of it. Anyways, knocked a glass down, cut my thumb. You get the idea. So speaking of hoarding a bunch of shit, I have had piles of beeswax, different colored beeswax for mm, at least a decade. You use beeswax for candles sometimes. I have tiny jars. I need to use and then by using get rid of all as much as possible to make room for the new garbage that I have. Ooh, and I also have a shitload of these little battery operated tea lights that I stole, well didn't steal, but took after my friend's wedding, which was like three or four years ago. And these haven't seen the light of day, eh? Get it? Since her wedding. So point is, we're gonna combine all the things together and make something beautiful with it. So finally getting to the fucking point, here's what you need. Ooh. I did a bad because I definitely um, accidentally knocked this can around. I did not give it enough time to settle. I very badly need to wash my hand. Okay, just quick little fangirl side note because you will probably notice this is a Rockingham can. I'm pouring it in a Rockingham glass. Well, friends, if you haven't picked up on this yet by any of my posts or the beer I'm always drinking, it's my favorite brewery. So if you're ever in Southern New Hampshire, this is not a paid sponsorship by any means. They just are the nicest people, they do the coolest events, and they make such good beer, such good beer. Okay, so I've already listed half the shit, but just to go over it again in list format, you will need some tiny glass jars, beeswax, or if they sell regular candle wax in thin sheets that are easily pliable, that will be fine. If you are reusing jars like I am and not using new ones, Gonna need some OxyClean. And then yeah, using these little battery operated tea lights. If you wanna go actual candle wick, go, you go for it. You do whatever light source you want. This is just a free project. So I'm gonna, gonna use these. I haven't even started drinking this yet, but I did just eat like three fistfuls of M&Ms. So maybe it's just the sugar coursing through my body. Let's help it out. I'm going to start running hot water in my sink. Pretty full of hot water. Gonna shake a little of this in there. I'm not worried about saving the labels, so I'm also not worried about how much oxyclean goes in the bin or bucket, basin. Basin's the word I'm looking for. I'm just gonna submerge these guys right in there. Gonna let those soak for a bit and uh, eat some noms. We did the thing. And I already cut my beeswax into some rectangles and also some triangles. I'm very tired and should be asleep right now. The first time I ever did anything with beeswax to make a candle, it was like rolling it up really, really tight and it will crack apart if you try to do anything too quickly or uh, too harsh of an angle. But I think just bending them is gonna be fine. But if you are nervous about it, get a hair dryer and just like, don't go too crazy. You don't wanna melt it. So I'm kind of Staggering the colors so that it'll look like stripes, maybe, hopefully, and then just slowly bending them as I'm going. And now you've got a house colored, I mean, not my house, but you know, there are people that are Gryffindors. A little nerdy tea light for the holidays that won't actually cause any melting or any anxiety about leaving a open flame in your house. Look at its little flicker. These are actually really good tea lights. If you wanna do triangles, this is how I learned to do it. You just start at the taller end. Again, stagger them like this. Start folding them from the longer side. You can even actually just roll it around one of your tea lights. Now you've got an even cooler spiral. I, I like this one a lot. 
Um, so yeah, that's the project. Nothing like groundbreaking, but something I've had bouncing around in my head and feels good to finally execute. Plus again, all the shit's been laying around my shop for years and years and years. If you can think of other ideas for beeswax, let me know. Candles is the extent of what I got and I also, as previously stated, I'm kind of terrified of lighting them because I am a space case and will just leave them and burn the house down. If any of you are wondering where I'm at, personally speaking, uh, it's still not great. Stuff I don't really want to get into right now, but uh, some of you may have noticed I've been doing more stuff on Etsy. I made a whole sewing nerd Instagram account and a, a Twitter, which is basically just getting linked to my Instagram. I have some stuff listed. I'll link in the description. If you're seeing this the weekend the video is going up, there is still time if you live in the US for me to ship your orders out in time for Christmas. If you want something from me, I'm making everything to order with the exception of this button up. It was mostly just to test out how to make a button up, but uh, it came out really nice. It is not my size though, and I don't want to just chop it up for other things because I'm like really proud of the construction of it and how the fabrics go together and everything. So it can fit up to, I think like a 48 inch bust, which is like most general US sizes like XL to double XL. I'll do Hogwarts robes and whatever your house colors are. Uh, um, if you want robes of different colors that aren't Harry Potter related, go for it. I'll make whatever. Lots of hooded scarves. That's kind of my favorite thing to make. I'm not the only person that's ever made hooded scarves, but it was an original concept and like pattern I made myself. So for that, I think I enjoy making it more because it's like all my own IP where like I didn't create the look of Harry Potter robes. Does that make any sense? So yeah, those health meter necklaces. Um, if you want to talk to me about commission work as far as like helping you put a cosplay together, if you would like to commission me to make some things for you, just like send me a message here or my email or DM on Instagram. You know where to find me. And if you've been considering checking out my Patreon, I sure could use the help these days. I'm obviously posting a lot more stuff there. Everyone over there got a sneak peek at this project, so uh, there are reasons to do it. I have like a mail time perk. I have a perk where every three months I'll make you a custom thing and send it to you. And just if you want to throw me a couple bucks is if you're buying me a coffee. I set up a coffee Kofi page just in case like a recurring monthly thing with Patreon seems a little too daunting or, or uh, you know, income is always in flux. I get it, but if you have a couple bucks to spare and would like to buy me a coffee or a beer or something, that's a good option too. This is easily the weirdest holiday season I've had. Uh, for a multitude of reasons. I can't say thank you enough for those of you that are sticking around and helping me in like crazy big ways. I really appreciate this little corner of the internet we've built together. Maybe I shouldn't have mood lighting because I started out full of sugar and now I'm just very somber. And also it's past 11 o'clock and I'm an old woman so time for bed. Or it'll be an abomination. Could go either way, who knows?